Hey guys, Ty Lord here with some video games and some food. Today's my cheat day. Um, I have a cheat meal today. I got some KFC. I got their crispy kernel right here. Um, and a big diet Pepsi. I think there's some fries in there. Um, try to take it easy on the weekend, but I can have a few cheat meals. I mean, it was did good on my, my diet again this week throughout the week uh, I'm down to about 265 I weighed in as low as 260 though it depends on what part of the day I weigh myself but the um, the way and I did where I filmed it I weighed about 265 a little bit under so I've lost 20 pounds legitimately over uh, three weeks but I have a cheat day here I got some KFC and I have some video games uh, not too many this week yeah, like I said, I try to only have one. Uh, I try to only have my, a, a cheat meal on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and that's all. Those are the only days I have cheat days, and and I only eat two cheat meals on those days I mentioned. I'm just kidding. I'm making fun of DVDs, nuts, and popcorn. So I have a a, a, kern, a crispy kernel here some fries um, I should have gotten some ketchup so I got these fries they look pretty good they're kind of crispy looking like sort of like that seasoned crispy look almost like they're battered or something I don't know they're pretty good though. I should have gotten them fresh or I should have eaten it fresh I had it sitting here for a while this is it. it doesn't look too big. I've been watching DVDs, nuts, and popcorn. That looks more like a chicken little. Oh well, it's not very that that really that big, but I wish I could get into this chicken craze. I, I don't have a, a, a Chick Fil A anywhere near me. I don't have Church's chicken. Actually, the Chick Fil A is maybe half hour down the freeway and every time I go by there there's a line all around the parking lot out onto the street but it's right by a freeway exit it's a pain in the butt so I'm not dealing with that I have a Popeyes there's one on the other side of town but it takes about 30 minutes to drive over there I'm not driving over there for a chicken sandwich uh, those look really good though we did have two Popeyes in town one of them went out of business before this big chicken fad I bet if that chicken sandwich had come out before they went out of business, or bef uh, uh, maybe a year ago, then they would have never gone out of business. My big fad, I used to go to Popeye's all the time, there's never a line. Now it's the, the big fad is that chicken sandwich, but this uh, this uh, crispy kernel here, the, the chicken at uh, KFC is always decent. This has a lot of mayonnaise and pickles, or tartar sauce and pickles, uh, looks pretty good. Mmm. Yeah, very good. Nice ch chunk of a, a chicken breast or something in there. The bun's nothing special. It just looks like a typical McDonald's cheeseburger bun. All fat, flat, and floppy. I'm gonna enjoy this right here after I finish the video. I got my big Diet Pepsi. I know there's no calories or sugar in Pepsi, but I've been trying to cut back on it. Just maybe a couple on the weekend. I even drink tea or water. Uh, so it's probably a lot of salt, but my, my diet says I can add salt and pepper to items. I don't overdo it, so. I guess sodium would be okay if I had that during the week, but I just have been staying away from from diet sodas or anything. I just drink a lot of water uh, during the week, and then my nasty diet food. So, so before I show my pickups here, um, first one is Sarah that I, I beat Yakuza finally. The first time I ever uh, played this and I beat it. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, sort of like a, a gangster story. Uh, 
it plays it's like an RPG beat em up, I'd say. That's the style I really like. I know there are newer versions of this and newer sequels that are probably a lot better. I just think this is very impressive for the time. It has the the fixed camera angles in most areas like Resident Evil. So you're walking down the street and it's populated with many, many uh, um, uh, pedestrians. There, there's no cars or anything like Grand Theft Auto. It's, this is all on foot. Once you get up to the big uh, roads that, that sort of border the, or sort of circumference the whole the whole map, you can take a taxi to different locations, but throughout the city you'll be in, through most of the game, it's all just on foot. But it is, I thought it looks really amazing for the original PlayStation. A lot of, it looks like a big crowd. You're walking around in a big city in Japan, a big, a lot of crowd walking around. They're all, they're not super interactive like Shinmu, but if you bump into them, they'll react to you. Some of them will want to fight you if you bump into them. So it's a lot, lot like an RPG. There'll be a lot of random encounters. It goes to a, a beat em up style. So I, I love beat em ups. Uh, the gameplay in here kind of gets frustrating because it's hard to aim the character with the left stick the direction you want. Sometimes he goes off in another direction you you don't want him to. I think I just haven't mastered it well enough. Or I think if you just flick the stick towards the direction you want him to go, he'll do it. But I think I lay into the the, the stick too hard. And he goes off in, in a, the wrong direction. There's all kinds of combos you can unlock. There's all kinds of different throws and like WWF moves. Um, pretty good story. Takes itself really seriously. A lot of sentimental moments here. Anytime there's children involved, I get kind of emotional because I have little girls. <laughs> it has a pretty good story. Um, I like the protagonist too, K K Kazuma. At first, I thought he was gonna be a thug, like like an angsty thug uh, with attitude, but he's like a, a thug with a heart of gold. I I like the character a lot. A lot of voice acting in this one. That's another reason I wanted to play the PlayStation version when it has English voice acting with a lot of uh, big time celebrities. Like I think Michael Madsen's in there and Mark Hamill. And then a lot of the typical video game voice actors. So the voice acting is very well done. Um, just kind of fun to go around and, and uh, just like a typical RPG, you like to go around and level grind. You can do that on this. Uh, you can unlock a lot of secrets. You can go, you can go, uh, <laughs> you can go have dates with women. You can uh, go to the casinos. You can go to the arcade. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any video games to play there, like Shinmu. You can only play the the toy claw game. Uh, what else? There's a batting cage. So a lot of stuff to do in this game. I, I don't even know if I really got. Uh, I think I just hit the tip of the iceberg on all the stuff to do. The missions are replayable. A lot of the levels play out like Resident Evil when you're in buildings. Um, there's save boxes and whatnot. You go around these facilities and, and you beat up people. So in that respect, it reminds me of Resident Evil and the camera angles on the city reminds me of Resident Evil. The last boss in here is freaking hard. Um, uh, more, I had my guy all maxed out too, but mostly because the camera angle, like you, you go into one room all of a sudden the camera angle will change so you have to press a different direction it's really hard I don't know if it's a game flaw or it's intentionally done that way to uh, to make the game more difficult I think it might be a little too easy if it didn't have the different camera angles and it makes it very cinematic it almost it looks like a movie every time you fight in this game or every time you walk around anything you do that's what I really appreciate about appreciate about this so I kind of want to go play the newer games now. So I'm, this was a great introduction to it. I highly recommend this. If I don't know who doesn't have a PlayStation 4, but if if you only have a PlayStation 2, I highly recommend this. I got this one from a, a Sprooch, a Retro Hunter. Uh, I got that off of his uh, Instagram sale. R great game though. I'm really glad I played this. 20 hours I spent, and I and I did a lot of grinding. There's probably a lot more to do too. And then I get distracted by my kids or my kids wake up. So I have to, to leave the game alone and, and then the game sits there. So it probably wouldn't have taken me 20 hours if it wasn't for that. But really great game. Highly recommend it. Um, and then uh, <laughs> the only game I found out at the store was uh, Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition for the Xbox 360. Uh, Xbox... 
one compatible. So they're still selling stuff at the store uh, for the 360, which I'm happy about. Um, I already have this, but I didn't have the DLC. I had regular plain vanilla Fallout New Vegas. This is my favorite Fallout. I think it's my wife's favorite Fallout too. She, she, it was her idea to get this. It was $12 at, at Walmart. Or was it Target? They're all the same to me. Um, yeah, I remember a fluffy gamer would buy all these up at that price at the at the retail stores and then uh, flip them on eBay. I think you can get more out of that. I know this. They had they had Ultimate Edition Fallout Three and uh, Oblivion there too. I already have those, but uh, I'm glad to have this. Actually, I want to go play it right now. I have other stuff to do though. Oh, and then and then the highlight of the week. Um, my buddy Lucky, as if he didn't send me enough stuff already. My my buddy George down there in southern uh, in Southern California sent me out of out of the blue. He sent me this nice blue PS4 game, Streets of Rage 4. I did not have it. I'm a huge fan of Streets of Rage 2. I like one all right too. I can't really get into three, but man, this thing here, I I, I installed it uh, on Friday night. Man, great, great game so far. It feels like Streets of Rage 2, but a lot more moves. Uh, it has a story mode. Uh, uh, man, it uh, uh, has like a nice hand-drawn 2D style. Really cool looking. But man, I'm having fun with this. I can't wait to get back to this, actually. A nice gift from George. I really owe him now. And it comes with a manual, too, and it came with a little... Uh, Streets of Rage 4 Keychain. This is a wonderful game. I've been hearing my friends hype this up, uh, but, but I, had, I had never gotten it yet. I was kind of waiting on it. Um, I don't know why, but, but but old Lucky sent that to me, so I can't wait to get back to this. I think I played like four or five stages into the story mode. I'm wondering how the continues work because I... Uh, I did die on like the fourth or fifth stage, but it let me start over from the beginning of the stage and then I beat it. So I don't know if you can farm lives somehow or I don't know. Well, I'm going to get back to this lovely chicken sandwich. Uh, oh yeah. The pickles. Anyway, well, I'm going to get back to lunch here and I'll see y'all later. Bye.